Yeah. Roberta and I were at the uh, were at the uh, M- Montreal riot. We weren't at the St. Louis riot. Okay. But we joined, and then when we went up to Montreal and did the um, the thing with Metallica, where James Hetfield walked into the flash pot, sure. and burned his face, mm-hmm. and um, it was you know the story is it's like you know it's not even a story it's it's true. But Axel was kind of losing his voice at the time because he couldn't hear himself correctly, so he went out there to try to save the day, and again he couldn't hear himself, so he opted to leave. And that's there there and started, you know, them lifting the seats up and stuff. And I'll, I'll never forget. We were down in the dressing rooms. I was sitting there with Slash just in, in an empty room. And you could hear them just going crazy upstairs. And um, I'm so scared. I'm it, so scared. Yeah, it was so, a really scary sound. And in walks Axel into this room that me and Slash, we just found. And we're sitting, and we're sitting there. And uh, I said, uh uh, should I, you know, just no, stay, stay, stay. And it, actually you could see he was visibly shaken and saying that, you know, they're going to blame this on me now. Mm-hmm. And, you know, all I wanted to do was be, I couldn't hear myself. He goes, I, I can't fucking hear myself. He kept saying, I can't fucking, they're going to blame me for this. And I said, well, and, and that's when I got up and left. Cause you know, you know, but, it, but it, Teddy, it, you don't remember what happened. You, we, we ended up the girls, uh, the horn section and the girls ended up, we got left behind and we had to I I don't... At the right, oh, you so were left behind? Yeah. But no, they, 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 they had to wait until everybody... The limos, the limos yeah. got you and Slash and Axel and Duff and Matt out and Dizzy out and the girls were left behind and we had to I... wait it out. Because we I didn't know that. The most. Yeah, we got left behind. Mm-hmm. And I thought that they were going to, it just sounded like they were going to beat the doors down and get backstage and kill us. And I, I've right, never been right. so afraid in my life. Wow. And yeah, we were. We I didn't were know left. that. I didn't know that. Yeah. I didn't know that. I, yeah. Well, it's, it, which, again, which is a bad, you know, a thing on a tour, they, they should have had enough. They should have had enough limousines on call. They could have been able to call it to get these people out of here, you know. But uh, maybe they felt that it was safer to be just locked downstairs or something. Who knows? I don't know. I didn't know that. I didn't think so. <laughs> I was like, those those doors didn't didn't seem to be safe. I yeah. mean, when you, you were hearing the banging and and the, the 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 stuff that was going on in you know in in the stadium, it was like. It, it really felt like Armageddon. It, it was so scary. Yeah, it's, it's and scary I remember just scary. sitting backstage going, what the hell are we going to do? You know? Yeah. And we didn't, we thought we, they were coming for us. And then we found out that Opie and all those guys were gone. And there yeah. was no way that we were going to go through the crowd, you know? So we had to wait it out. We were back there for hours. 